What is going on? Welcome back to another episode of the Ironclad Report. Uh, if you don't know how this show works, we take a band or a musical artist and we discuss them, uh, talk about them, kind of how they got started, and or just kind of go over a sort of controversy that they've been through or, you know, just kind of talk about them in general. And uh, kind of where I think they might be in a few years if they're still performing or if they're not kind of talk about their legacy and their history so uh, this episode is going to be actually about two separate artists because I feel like these two artists are similar in genre and uh, they they kind of both have similar rises to fame I want to say and uh, they were both very controversial acts for their time and if you couldn't tell by the title those two acts are Alice Cooper and Marilyn Manson so Alice Cooper and Mar Marilyn Manson are two of what I consider the most controversial musical acts of their time uh, you either love their work or you don't there's really no middle ground I feel in that one so we're gonna start with uh, Alice Cooper because uh, I feel like I, starting in chronological order as to who kind of came first in this line of uh, as far as, you know, popularity in music. So Alice Cooper, uh, he is or was in a band called uh, Naz back in the, in the late 60s. But uh, they decided to change the name to Alice Cooper because there was already another band named Naz uh, at that time. And uh, just because it sounded, Alice Cooper sounded uh, like a polar opposite of what their music sounded like. Uh, they also thought that uh, they needed some sort of a gimmick of sorts to uh, survive in the music industry and also to kind of stand out, which I believe they did at the time. Uh, the sh uh, shock rock genre was uh, sort of accidentally created by Alice Cooper when he tossed a live chicken into the crowd at a live show and uh, Cooper not really knowing uh, that chickens couldn't fly very well. The chicken landed in the first two or three rows uh, of this live show. So yeah, there was this uh, chicken that was tossed into the audience and it was uh, landed within the first couple of rows of the audience and uh, it got kind of torn apart and ripped to pieces and the media kind of uh, went on a frenzy saying that uh, Alice Cooper ripped the head off and kind of drank its blood, which really wasn't true, but they kind of ran with it anyways because, hey, it's uh, publicity, I guess. So that may have something to do with why people have or had kind of a sour taste towards Alice Cooper at that time maybe and uh, some of his songs were also maybe to blame some of the titles of his songs possibly like uh, uh, dancing or singing or yelling at the devil that might have also had something to do with it so moving on to Marilyn Manson and crew a few decades after Alice Cooper found fame with uh, freaking out the tabloids and media. I think Manson is by far the most edgy and controversial of the two, being considered to be a negative influence on children in the 90s. Uh, his music was even thought to have an influence on the Columbine shooting in 1999. He had uh, mentioned in a television interview that uh, he chose the name Marilyn Manson is a kind of clash between good and evil, uh, Marilyn Monroe being the good and the famous serial killer and psychopath Charles Manson representing the bad. Uh, I, I find it funny how uh, people will try to stop people from performing art. Uh, I see music as an expression, as a form of expression and feeling, uh, no matter that feeling, People should have the option to express it, whether it is through painting or music like Alison Cooper or Man Marilyn Manson. Uh, but to sit on the outside of an art gallery 
and say the artist trash or devil's worship just by the name of the gallery is kind of closed minded in my opinion I think in order to fully judge something especially art I think you have to immerse yourself into whatever you're casting judgment upon uh, because if you just sort of blindly say oh that's that's the work of the devil that's bad that's evil you shouldn't do that it's gonna hurt people um, I think you should kind of know from both sides what is you know you should have a good balance from uh, both ends of what you're what you're trying to criticize and judge um, and I think that's what a lot of people did with Marilyn Manson and uh, Alice Cooper back in the day they just kind of took them for what they were at face value uh, and even ghost now in the, the modern era is looking at criticism like that people are looking at these artists at their the face value the cover value of what they are and they're, they're not look going any further than the front door of this establishment this art establishment and uh, they're sort of just casting judgment uh, upon the doorstep without even really going in and seeing what it's all about. It's sort of like purchasing a home without even going inside. The house might look beautiful and immaculate from the outside, but once you step in, it could be a completely different story, or vice versa. It could look completely terrible from the outside and look good from uh, look good from the inside. So uh, two completely different you know, it, people, I think, need to look at things from both sides before they start to, um, you know, cast judgment upon it. And uh, I don't think it's going to be soon before people don't cast judgment. I think there's always going to be some sort of closed-minded people. Uh, people always sort of wrapped around their uh, points of view and people sort of... Uh, stuck in their ways and it's going to be really hard I think to uh, get people out of that kind of stuff and that sort of mindset in a way um, at least that people won't be able to get out of that in in my lifetime I mean people are starting to change but it's going to be difficult man so thank you so much for watching or listening and I'll see you guys in the next episode next week goodbye